After Samus has a nice lunch break, eating the the ing food, which is only healthy for her now because she has the dark suit. But we're back on the adventure, so we need to head this way and head back to the light world. make sure there's nothing else we can do here. I'm pretty sure there's not, because we can't open those green doors. So might as well just get out of here. It's like, we're effectively done with uh, the dark wall of this area, so we'd only be coming back here just to get optional collectibles. And we'll only do that if that's convenient for us. I mean, I mean, by the time we come back here, I'm sure we'll have a lot more, uh, health and stuff. So, it shouldn't be that bad. It'll just be like a, a brisk little stroll. Well, I say brisk, but, I mean, there's no real fast travel in this game, so it would take a while. guy died a happy man his funny his fun ball mechanisms are getting the use they deserve so we're just gonna cut through here They talk about forging an alliance with Dark Samus, but I'm pretty sure Dark Samus doesn't have a mind of her own. Like, she doesn't really have, like, intelligence. She's just going by instinct. Because she's... she was made from Metroid Prime, so she's, in essence, a Metroid. And they already talked about how they can't tame the Metroids.
<laughs> Just like what Quiet Rogue did. La la la, we transferred the energy. So with that, I guess we can um, head back to the to the temple, and then we can access a new area with our amber reading. So theoretically, we could have already uh, gone to a new area, but. Finish this area. Gotta get all these abilities. So, in that regard, this game does feel a lot more linearly structured. It's like all these uh, different levels are properly divided by the hub world, but not really interconnected to each other. So, in that regard, it is a lot more simple than, uh, the first game. I guess we'll just head right here, and we're just going back to the elevator. We have to come back to this dark zone when we have the spider ball. No, no, that's the thing we can't even get through yet. And then th that's just like a whole other portal. So that's interesting. We get to the other side of this when we have like the, the wave beam. Maybe there'll be a way to open this thing from that side. Those are Sonic Beam Emitters. Is there a way to destroy them? Also, we can just scan that big thing. It's like, just looking at the map, it looks like there's a secret behind that. said Sonic Detection Gear is needed. So I guess we don't really have the power to interact with that yet. And once we do, we'll be able to find a... find a collectible in there, I'm sure. It does make me wish there was some interconnectivity between these places. You know, it's because we have to backtrack to them anyway to get new stuff. There was, like, another elevator shaft back in Agon Waste, so maybe it will connect to somewhere else. We'll have to wait and see. So... <clears throat> Do we just... Do we just head to the save room? Probably. <laughs> but... Let's see if we can get to that room on the right. The 
Morph Ball looks pretty cool with this new suit. Hang on, though. Huh. Right, because the light beam can affect the, uh, the dark crystals. Ah, it's a portal! Well, that was a nifty find. I am going to get to that room first, before we do that. Oh, my mistake, we can't get this way. Oh. Oh, no, yes we can. We can just go up here. Ah, oh, there's something in there. Okay, so we need... We actually do need a uh, Denzine to get through here. To actually get that secret. Fair enough. But at least we can come through here and hopefully get to this room. like something a, a place of power up would be. It is inside me. I feel it spreading, clawing at my will, tearing at my thoughts. It moves me against my will to this cavern. Here it will end. I do not wish this. Do not want my body to become a weapon for the ing within me. It hates. It demands obedience. I will fight to the end. I shall self-terminate before I will be a pawn of a filthy ing. J-Fame. So, I'm going to guess that in the dark version of this place, there will be a power-up. And, and I guess the only purpose of this room, of this version, is to find that uh, guy. So that's cool. Well, let's just head to that portal. Hey, okay, where am I going? Or a reason... Okay, that's a... There's a text thing there that leads to another elevator. I uh, don't really know if we can activate that. I don't know if that's the text that we can use. But I think we'll just go this way. Oh yeah, and there's that. How do we get to you? I'm gonna guess a spider ball. Does whatever a spider ball does. Unless we... Hmm. Okay, that's actually... We might be able to do that. I think we can find, like, an access point up here. Aha! Alright, we can do this. I kind of forgot about that. Good thing I just glimpsed at it. That was easy. Find a 
see the dark world of the temple grounds. Well, so that's like the only door in this place. Is a deck a cycle a week, a day, a month? Kind of just reminds me of uh, Voltron. They had their own unique uh, terms. There's a missile in there. Just this huge, gigantic place, just for a simple missile upgrade. There's not even an ambush. I mean, there's enemies here, but nothing noteworthy. Nothing up there, by the looks of it. That is just... That's just weird. This is overly dramatic, just for a simple missile. Well, I mean, I'm kind of glad that wasn't anything too complex. Now we can just uh, stay on track. I mean, maybe, maybe the idea is you need enough heart containers for the dark suit to be able to survive that. That's, like, the only real challenge there. So I guess we'll just make our way to that text next. Or we could... Well... Like, theoretically, we could just... Go to the temple, and maybe... And that'll just link down there, I guess. That'll link to a whole new area of this place. Hmm. We'll just head to the text first. one we can interact with. Tell if that's ground level or not. It might actually be ground level, yeah. Yeah, here we are. Oh yeah, we have to do this we have to do this uh, funny little puzzle again. <laughs> Is it just broken? Is this broken? Hello. I didn't even see you there at all. Were you there the first time? I don't remember if you were there the first time. This is ridiculous. I could outshoot half the men here, and I'm stuck on monitor duty. I didn't join up to stare at a hollow screen. This wouldn't happen to Samus Air, and she'd be out there taking care of business, not pushing buttons and sending reports. Wait, what's your name again? Uh, Angset. Okay. Yeah, I remember, I remember that name. Alright, so we just can't break that. We don't have the material to break this, do we? Hmm. No, so we just can't go that way. I guess we'll just have to head uh, that other route to get back to the uh, the main temple. 
maybe the, uh... I guess we should talk to the dude. Might have something interesting or helpful for us. We can actually just go up there, can't we? I think we will just head around the long way to get to the save point. Who knows? Or... I mean, there could be another door we can open up here, and that'll be the shortcut we need. Yeah, I say we just head up here. Plus, I think, you know, the save point here is closer. I think we need the double jump just to head back through that other route anyway. So that's nice. Uh, so that'll take us down there, but let's head to the save point first. Actually, wait. No, we can't even go that way. That's kind of jerkish. Hello. Okay, so, it's hibernation chambers. Maybe there's other Luminos in there, and they're staying safe from all this. That's pretty cool. So, oh, let's we'll head this way now. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, this is just one of those Metroid Dread doors. Telecommander's presence is similar to that of the Luminos. Cool. So we can't even go this way. Okay, we'll, we'll just try the light. Yeah, I didn't think so. Can we talk to the guy? I don't see him. Is this where he met him, or do we meet him in the lower room? I guess it was just a bad idea to come here. Wait, there's a door over here. Okay, let's go to the upper room. Hey, let's quickly get to a save room. After we talk to the guy. Okay, so good reason to come back here, I guess. Now you're gonna give me the power to open that door. <laughs> I thank you for restoring energy to the Temple of Agon. Your valor honors the Luminoth, those who have passed and those who remain, here under my protection as they sleep in those sealed cells. Be on guard, for the Aang do not suffer defeat lightly. They will surely seek revenge for your actions. 
With the energy lost from the desert region, they'll increase their efforts in other lands. I detected unusual amounts of ink activity in the Torvis sector. The enemy is on the move. I guess that's our next destination. The swamplands of Torvis are treacherous and can hinder you considerably. Bear this in mind as you move through the bog. Sounds like a water level. Seek the Temple of Torvis. More knowledge awaits you there. And may the light of ether serve you well. I should actually scan you, come to think of it. Yeah, you're actually an important data entry. So that's it, is you must sense all the Lunoth, guardian of the species in the sacred temple. Alright. It's kind of like, I didn't think to scan Samus' ship until the end of the last game, the, the first game. Kind of think of it, did I even scan Samus' ship in this game? Because I should have probably done that. <laughs> it's like the most obvious thing that you wouldn't think to scan, but it is part of the completion. Cool. It doesn't really seem like he did anything for me. I guess I'll go check that door again. Maybe he actually uh, gave me the seal of approval and I didn't realize it. It doesn't even actually mark that door that we just opened, that we just found, that kind of barrier. Okay, that's just... Where did it? I... I'm conf Okay, so that door is just open now. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so he did open it for us, thanks. Honestly, just getting that, uh, that ammo upgrade <laughs> was really helpful, because I have so much of that stuff now. Because imagine just coming all this way and you weren't able to open that door because you didn't have any of the light ammo stuff. And it's, like, so hard to farm, too. They, like, feel like you can only really farm it in the other like in the dark world, and that would just take forever on its own. In fact, just, so there's going to be like four upgrades for that kind of ammo, because I can see the bars on the right there. Which means there's three left. So there's going to be one in Torvis Bog, one in the third area, and one in the Temple Grounds. I'm just doing the math there. This is one of those upgrades in each uh, different Dark World. Uh, okay, we can't even get to the save point from the here. So that sucks. I would really like a save point. Okay. Well, I can see that stuff up there. Yeah, I don't even need to climb up there to read that. In time, the roar of a wounded planet subsided. The air, though fouled, was breathable. Light made its way through the dark veil over our world. Slowly, we ventured out from the shelters of our home to see what remained of our paradise. What little comfort we gained by surviving was soon shattered, for when we looked outward, all we saw was devastation. Half the planet's energy had vanished from the energy controllers. Ether became violently unstable as a result, or the stellar object which struck our home. There was no sign. Okay. Alright, so you, you get rewards for scanning a certain amount of stuff. Just like in the first game. Okay, but there's like a little tunnel over here. Like, we can't even scan that. Or we can even break it. A 
portal. Another door we can't go into. Please, I would like a save point. I really hate that you can't access that save point. In the temple. Okay, this is just... So this is just like a progress check. It's making sure you have the, uh, the dark suit. That's clever. Alright, well, jeez oh, louise. Okay, you're definitely a new enemy. Corrupted, Sentry, yeah, I remember these things. I remember these things from the first game. I'm guessing we're gonna get a power up at the end of this. Cool. Okay, good, there's something to do here. <laughs> that jump. Uh, not really? Oh, okay. I'm glad that this little tunnel is just a light, light area. That's nice. And that blocks that. Wait a minute. Hold on, do I need to, like, do this strategically? Okay. Okay, I see. So what's on this side? So there's actually another elevator on this side. Okay. Yeah, I see how this works. I am about to die. I need to get to that light area. Alright, thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay. The Elevator of Divine Protection. Alright, I guess we'll sit here for a while. I really want a save point, though. get please okay that you can actually clip the side of this thing and it refills your health nice that was all okay good I'm, I was afraid I missed one way to feel your health. Good. That is actually very nice. So... Okay.
Uh... Okay, I can hear it going back. That is very annoying. That is super bad. At least it comes back fast. Well, at least we'll be able to get out of this place. Head to the end of this again, we can get to some more protects. Please do not smash me. You can eat this whole thing, or can I have a couple? Yeah, you can have a couple. I don't think I could have eaten the whole thing. Okay, we can't even go in there. I get asked for a free uh, pizza like every week. Wow. Like a barcode, if I want to get one free meal. Okay. This place is gorgeous. I guess, uh, next week I can get home. It's time for you. Alrighty. Can you make a dinner, huh? Yeah. Yeah. should check if there's a power up in this room or something. Samus, we do not have time for this. Dwarvis Fog, alright, looks lovely. I hope there's a save point soon. I'm gonna believe. Alright. 